Jasmine, and that Arctic blast of cold temperatures still causing problems for some families dealing with frozen pipes, leading them to burst. And that's exactly what a family in Greensboro was dealing with right now as they look out their window to see water shooting from a pipe outside of their home. Fox 8's Daryl Matthews is live in Greensboro after speaking with that family. And Daryl, how long has this been going on for them? Madison has been going on for four days, but take a look at this. It's become a pipe that's now a frozen fountain. Like I said, it's been going on for four days and counting. The family living here has been dealing with this ongoing problem. They tell me they followed all the rules given by property management. They kept the cabinets open to warm the pipes. They let the faucet drip, even calling the maintenance if there was an emergency. Still, nothing has been done, and it's become a concern to them. Where's the compassion? I mean, nobody never even, I know it can't be fixed, but nobody even reached out to say, hey, we received your messages. What's supposed to be a joyous time of the year for everyone is now a frustrating Christmas holiday for Tamika Kane and her family as they deal with a busted pipe in the middle of their front yard at Village Park off Creek Ridge Road in Greensboro. It's frustrating to go without water since Friday. And then to look out and just see it spreading everywhere, it's ridiculous. She says Friday, her son noticed the water spraying from the pipes outside of her home. That's when she immediately called for help, even making calls to the city of Greensboro. The city said that this was private land and that they couldn't do anything about it, that we would have to contact Village Park. And so that's what we have been doing all weekend. Kane showed Fox 8 this email property management sent out to residents on what to do to avoid this problem. I called the emergency maintenance on call. Please leave your message for Village Park Emergency Maintenance. Nothing. Even called the parent company Yes Communities and left a message. With the holidays observed Monday, most places are closed. And now going on five days, Kane and her family are still left with no running water inside the home. I'm hoping that they will take responsibility for the water and will not charge us for this or charge us a fee for them coming out to fix this. Now. Now, Kane and her husband have bought five gallon jugs from Lowe's to have some water in the house to flush the toilets and even wash. As you just heard her, they're trying to make the best of this terrible situation, but they're afraid of what may come next. We're live in Greensboro. Darrell Matthews, Fox News.